Alderman Norfolk. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, as of January 2022, we have lost 200,000 jobs. More Canadians are underemployed and unemployed than ever before. Canada is blessed with amazing natural resources, incredible agriculture, advanced technology, cutting edge industry, and manufacturing sectors. When will this government get off the backs of ordinary Canadians, workers, and small businesses? Businesses and allow our economy to thrive. Yeah. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, it is a bit rich to hear any Conservatives today presume to support Canada's small businesses. And you know why, Mr. Speaker? Because when Omicron first hit, our government was ready. We knew that the provinces would be imposing lockdowns because that's what our healthcare system needed. And so we were there. We provided support for small businesses and for workers. But the Conservatives voted against that support. Thank goodness, Mr. Speaker, that they failed. Uh, before, going, be, before going to the next question, I just want to interrupt for a second. I want to remind all the members that in the House, if they're not speaking, please make sure you have your mask on. It's just for your own safety and the safety of others. It's being considerate. The Honourable Member for Haldeman Norfolk. That was a typical non-answer. We're all employed in this House. We need to have some compassion for those 200,000 people that are unemployed. We're not... We're not just talking about 200,000 jobs. We're talking about 200,000 families that are now wondering how to put food on the table, how to pay their bills, all while facing record inflation. So I ask my question again. When will this Prime Minister and this government allow Canadians to get back to work and to get on with their lives? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker. I actually agree with the member opposite that jobs are the single most important thing when it comes to the well-being of most Canadians and most Canadian families. And that's why when Canada lost 3 million jobs at the depth of the pandemic lockdowns, our government knew we had to act. And we did with unprecedented support for workers and businesses. And the good news, Mr. Speaker, is that action worked. Canada has had one of the strongest jobs recoveries in the G7. 101% of jobs recovered compared to just 87% in the U.S., for example. L'honorable député de Jean...